Hello, this is Sarah from Posh Pooch Designs, and today's pattern or project is going to be how to make this fun little crochet hook holder. It's perfect for holding knitting needles. It's perfect for holding your scissors. You can even put your a pen or two to make notes on patterns. And I also take my needles and stick them in the side I got a couple that are my favorite. I do that too. And this is just a great project. You'll have the pattern link will be in the comments, so you'll have that. And what you'll need for the project is a cup or jar with about a, I think it's six inches. Let me make sure. Actually, yes, you need a four inch opening across the top. Now, this is a little bit stretchy, so if it's like three to five, it'll be okay. And then the, the length of my cup is six inches. You can do longer or shorter. And as a matter of fact, if you want to use it for knitting needles, you might want to go to about an eight inch. It's a good idea to have a good sturdy cup or um, a glass jar. I don't usually use glass because I'm clumsy. <laughs> cup works great. This is one left over from a cruise my husband and I went on. Lid's broken, perfect. Okay, so you need your cup. You need a J hook. And then you need some kind of worsted weight yarn. You can use cotton or you can use worsted weight acrylic. Today I'm gonna to use Red Heart Super Saver, and this color is called Bright Mix, and it's very, very pretty. You'll also need a needle because we're going to be doing the uh, drawstring, and that's the key to making it fit good, is the drawstring. So you'll need a needle for that, and of course, weaving in your ends. All right, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on other fun projects and patterns. All right, let me move the screen down. So, all right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to stitch eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two, three, four, five, get that tail out of the way, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to join to that first single crochet. Oops, I missed it. <laughs> Be sure and stitch loose. That's why I'm using a J hook. If you're a tight stitcher, you might want to go up to a K. All right, so we joined and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This first chain four counts as one double crochet and one chain one. Okay, now in the next stitch, we're going to double crochet, chain one. And we're going to do this in all of the eight stitches around. Double crochet, chain one. Double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet, chain one. Let's see. There's our chain four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more right there in that last stitch. Double crochet, chain one. Now we're going to join to the third chain of that first chain four. One, two, three. Because it's a, it's a double crochet chain one. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit like that. It's okay. It'll stretch out as we stitch. Okay, for the next chain, we're going to slip stitch in that first chain one space and then chain four. One, two, three, four. Again, it counts as a double crochet, chain one. And then we're going to double crochet in that same chain one space. And then we're going to chain one. Okay, so Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And of course this first one, we chained four, counts as a double crochet, chain one. So what we're gonna do in each of the chain one spaces, we're going to double crochet, 
chain one and double crochet. Again, stitch loose. If you can see my hook here and my yarn, you see I'm stitching loosely and just letting it flow. Because you want this to be loose. You want these nice big holes so you can fit things in between. Crochet hooks, needles, uh, knitting needles, scissors. Sometimes I even have a nail file in there. Because I'll get a, a hangnail or a snag, and I don't want that hangnail or snag to get caught in the yarn. So, all right, chain, uh, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and each chain two space around. Alrighty, let's see. Looks like I got one more chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and join to the third chain, one, two, three of those chain four at the beginning. Now it might look like a little bit of a hat. There we go. It's okay because it's going to stretch out, and you'll see when we do this next row that it'll it'll all fan out. Okay, so I move my yarn over there. Okay, so the next row we're going to slip stitch in that first chain one space and chain four. One, two, three, four. Again, we're going to double crochet and that first one we've got chain we've got four chains move my needle or my hook the first three count as a double crochet chain one it was the fourth chain and then a double crochet chain one and we're going to do this in each of the chain two chain one spaces around chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and we're putting two double crochets in each chain one space and you'll do that all the way around for row four and what it will look like I've got one already here for you is this and it will look a little bit um, kind of not ruffly but kind of mm, ripply and that's the word I'm looking for so here's our first row, then our second row, third row, and then this fourth row is really, it looks tight and ripply, but we want it to be that way so that we can ease it down over the cup. All right, the last row on here is our, our, chain, our uh, shell stitches. What you're going to do is in the first, uh, there we go. Here's the first chain one space. In the next chain one space, we're going to place two double crochets, one, two, chain one, and two double crochets, one, two. Then in the next chain one space, we're going to slip stitch. Then the next chain one space, we're going to do a shell again. Double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet. Then slip stitch in the next chain one space. And you can see we're making shell stitches. And we're gonna do this all the way around. Double crochet. Double crochet, uh, slip stitch. And again, this is going to feel a little bit ripply, but it's okay because we want that extra ripplyness. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word or not, in order to fit it around our cup. You can see how the ripples are coming. All right, I'm going to move my screen back up now.
because I think this next part would be easier for you to kind of see. And I'm going to take out my crochet hooks out of this one because I think it would be better if you can see um, how to do this. Oh, left my needle in there. That's not too good. <laughs> All right. So you've got your cup. And one thing I do is I make a ball of the same yarn like this. I had a little fuzz ball on it. There we go. And I put that down inside the cup. And that gives something for your crochet hooks to land on. And that way they don't slide all the way down and you have to fish for them. If you're doing uh, knitting needles, you probably won't need that because um, they won't, you know, they're taller. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your um, doily, basically is what this is with a little more ripple in it. And you're going to put your, your <clears throat> um, two pieces of thicknesses of your yarn and you're going to thread that onto your needle and you will take, you will go through at the base of R4 and you'll just, um, you can see how I just went in and out every now and then. And I, I went, I went above two and then under three or four above two all the way around to where you want your front to be. Okay. Then you will slide it on to the cup you're using. Make sure your ball that you're going to use to put your hooks on is already inside if you're going to use that. And you slide this on. You pull this tight. And, and I, what I did is I tied a knot because I didn't want it to come undone to fit that jar. And then I just tied a nice little double ear bunny rabbit ear bow on there just to hold that. Well, that bow didn't work out very good, did it? Let's try another one. <laughs> Goodness gracious. There we go. <laughs> and you just tie that on there. And then you can put, you've got nice big holes. Mine's not centered. Let's center that a little better. You've got nice big holes. Look at this big crochet hook. That one can go in. Look at this big one. That can go in. You can put your scissors. I always put my scissors down the center. I don't know why. You know, and then even your tiny ones, you can go, will go in and they'll land on that, on that ball of yarn under there and you won't lose it down in there. And you can fill that up and set that next to your, um, place where you crochet. Here's my, um, emery board I use. Slide that in there. I mean, everything you need. Here's a pen for marking patterns. All of that stuff can go in this. And, and it's a great project to have next to your table for all your stuff. Isn't that fun? You can make a second one, use it as a coaster to put them on. Isn't that fun? Well, thanks for watching my video today. And I hope you'll make some of these because they are fun to have sitting around different places. So remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And have a wonderful day.